Over the last year, 100,000 migrants have made their way to New York City after crossing the southern border of the United States with the help of officials in Texas. Among them is Nordin Montaka from Ghana. His journey to the United States was nothing but hard, crossing multiple countries with the hope of gaining asylum. I know here is a land of opportunity, and I know I'll get what I want. New York City has been struggling to meet the growing demands as the homeless shelter population reached a record high last fall. Recently, hundreds of new arrivals had to sleep on the sidewalk outside the city's asylum seeker arrival center, the Roosevelt Hotel. Nordin was lucky to find shelter at Young Kasama Street in Bronx, which not only serves as a place of worship, but also as the headquarters of the Yankasa Association, a non-profit organization built in 1984. We open our doors to all Muslim or non-Muslim, everyone that come. As from now, we have over 500 immigrants that passes through, make transition to Yankasa Masjid. We provide them with shelter, clothing, and food. Migrants and also their kids are being offered English classes and are given assistance in applying for work permits, ID cards, and getting health insurance. Some of them, through that, they are able to get their working permits and so that. So they go to work and then always come back to join us, which means they appreciate what we do to them. As migrants continue to arrive to the Big Apple, Mayor Eric Adams has called it a humanitarian crisis that will cost the city $12 billion. This issue will destroy New York City.